let's just say, for the sake of argument, oh, Martin, that certain aspects of evolution actually happened or are happening or both. I take the example of giraffes. It's theorized that a long time ago, the greatest grandparents or ancestors, if you will, of today's giraffes had much shorter necks. Also commonly speculated is the idea that the leaves that were most nutritious to giraffes were scarce or, or went through periods of scarcity and spread somewhat evenly throughout the higher and lower boughs of their trees. And only those giraffes with necks long enough to reach way up high consistently ate enough to live long enough to reproduce. Now, when we look at the savanna, we see giraffes with long necks only. This selection process was and continues to be very gradual. Okay, so far so good. But if a theory, in this case evolution, is to be respected and believed and thought to be more valid by more people, you know, for it to have more street cred, then it would help if this theory can explain more than just some random animal that happens to have a long neck, wouldn't you think? For instance, it would be nice if this theory could also explain certain behaviors, like the one I'm about to reveal. I think a long time ago, and I'm not the only one, check out the information bouquet that I have left down there for you. Anyway, a long time ago, and due to massive predation, and due to so many of us early or pre-humans dying young from childhood diseases, that for us to avoid being wiped from this planet, something had to be done. All women, from the youngest age possible, had to reproduce as much as they could. Now, what might happen if a fertile woman from such a prehistoric time were monogamously chained to one man, and unbeknownst to everybody involved, even though he was not impotent, he was infertile. In other words, he shot bullets but they were all blanks. What might happen? Or rather, what might not happen at a time when it needed to happen? And remember now, she's fertile. You guessed it. Reproduction might not happen. What I'm driving at is this. Something had to be done to ensure that all fertile women gave birth to as many new humans as possible. Or else, wait for it, extinction. Think about what that would entail, something other than monogamy, and what just might compel a woman to want to break the bonds of monogamy. How about if she found that she needed more than what one man could give her so that she could achieve orgasm? Oh, by the way, this is rated PG-13. Please send the little kitties to bed on trumped-up charges or whatever it takes before continuing here. Thank you, Mr. Burr. Anyway, what would have happened if all early humans practiced unsullied monogamy? Answer, eventually, too many fertile women would have been paired up with sterile men. And by too many, I mean one or two, whatever. Any fertile women back then stuck with sterile men, and we... We might not be having this conversation. So here's what nature or God did. And yes, I did say God. It's possible that a God or the God could have orchestrated or arranged for the timing disparity that I'm about to introduce. Namely, for some reason or another, it takes longer for a woman to come than for a man to come. All of the things being equal. And of course, I'm talking about before the invention of the vibrator. The reason why adult human females today take at least 15 minutes to come is because all of their too-quick-to-come sisters, just like those giraffes with short necks, died off eons ago, leaving us with only takes a long time to come women and giraffes with long necks. Note, I'm talking about a time in our development when we hadn't yet made the connection between sex and reproduction. We did stuff, 
that felt good just because it felt good. Period. Now, how does male and female rape fit into this equation? Obviously, rape wasn't enough for us humans. A rape by a single man, as it pertains to the origin of our orgasmic timing disparity, is functionally the same as monogamy. And evidently, this activity, this rape as a reproduction strategy a long time ago, did not lead to enough successful pregnancies, did not make up for all the other factors, heavy predation, childhood diseases, etc., that were killing us humans before we grew old enough to procreate. Compare our sexuality with that of ducks. For our feathered friends, in an evolutionary sense, obviously rape is good enough. I don't know if you've ever seen ducks doing what it takes to reproduce, but it sure looks and sounds like rape to me. Gang rape, no less. It's not a pretty sight, folks. Anyway, with rape being a normal mating mechanism for mallards and drakes, their raping results in enough new ducklings that nature or God did not have to design extra horny females to counter massive predation. If you'll notice, when a duck reproduces, she'll usually have five or ten little ones trailing after her on that pond. We humans pop out one each time in 79 out of every 80 births. With multiples, you know, twins, triplets, whatever, with multiples being one out of every 80 births. God or nature saw that we needed a better mating strategy than the one that obviously works for ducks. Even with, allegedly, tons and tons of rapey human behavior occurring a long time ago, we as a species were still on the way out. We still weren't, we still weren't getting off the ground as a viable species. Something had to be done. Something got done. Another way to look at this is that men can be, but don't have to be, polygamous. Women, on the other hand, are biologically engineered to be polygamous. A woman's biology literally begs her, cajoles her, pretty much inveigles her to seek out more orgasmic stimulus, more than what one man can give her. All of the things being equal, in other words, a policy of he does what makes him feel good till he comes, and she does what makes her feel good till she comes, will ultimately leave her unfulfilled, unless she lines up a few men in a row and mates with them in a timely fashion, i.e. her orgasmic sensitivity is cumulative and time sensitive, which is to say she needs a few guys in quick succession to get what she needs.